and welcome back to another session of our Epic Next.js tutorial where we're building a summarization video YouTube app. In today's video, we're actually going to cover the most important part, which is summarizing our transcript that we received from YouTube using OpenAI and Langchain. If you've never heard about Langchain, it's a great library that, that allows you to easily build and integrate AI into your application. And that's what we're going to use. And as always, you could take a look at our complimentary blog post that has all the code snippets and items that you need to complete this tutorial. So we're going to start by setting up Langchain. Let's go ahead and copy this yarn ad at Langchain OpenAI and Langchain command, and let's install all the necessary dependencies. Since this is gonna be in our front end of our project, make sure you're inside the front end folder. Go ahead and install all the dependencies. Once all the dependencies are installed, we could go ahead and start utilizing the helpful methods. We're gonna use chat OpenAI to set up our OpenAI integration, prompt templates to generate a prompt template that we're gonna use, and string output parser to parse our output. So let's go ahead and copy this snippet and we'll talk about this as we continue building this application. So inside our code, let's navigate to our API folder, summarize inside the route.ts file. So here I'm gonna to navigate to source, app, API, summarize routes, and we're going to go ahead and import all the amazing methods that we going to use. And right after transform data, we're going to create a new function that's going to be called generate summary that's going to take a string and a template. Right above the generate summary, I'm going to go ahead and paste our template. A template is just some text that gives you the instructions that you could pass to OpenAI that will tell the model what to do. So in our case, whatever text we're referencing, we're going to say for this text, complete the following steps. Generate the title, and this should probably be based on the content provided. Summarize the following content, include five key topics, including some other directions, and then write a YouTube video description incorporating keywords and takes away. So you could change this accordingly, but this is something we're gonna use to pass to our open AI call when we're summarizing our text. So inside of our generate summary, we're going to use the prompt template to create a template for our prompt that we could use to pass to our OpenAI model. Next, we're going to use the construction function to create a new instance of our chat OpenAI. It takes our OpenAI key, our model name, temperature, and max tokens that we wanna use. Make sure that in your .env file, you add your OpenAI key. So inside your project, let's create a new file and we're going to call it .env.local. And inside here, we are going to add our API key. You could find it by navigating to OpenAI, going to your docs, and if you're logged in, you're going to have the section where you could look at your API keys. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new API key testing. And of course, I'm gonna delete it after we use it, but I'm gonna copy this, click done. And inside my project, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it. So back in our route.tss file, we are configuring our model. Next here, we are going to set up our string output parser, and we're going to create a new chain. We're going to pass our model, which is our OpenAI. And what's awesome about LangChain, you don't have to use OpenAI, you could use any model that you like. And we're going to pass our output parser. And finally, let's do a try catch block where we're going to invoke our chain and we're going to wait for it. If we do have the summary, we're going to go ahead and return it. And if not, we're just gonna say, something went wrong. Now that we have our generate summary method, let's go ahead and use it inside our post route handler. And inside our post functions, let's scroll down past the previous code we wrote. And here where we're getting our transform data, we actually have access to the text. And this is what we're going to pass to our 
OpenAI to give us your transcript. So first thing we're going to do, let's create a variable, which we're gonna set with our generated summary. And let's update our response. First, we're going to await our generate summary, passing our transform data text and our template. And once we get our summary, we're going to go ahead and return it in our response. So now to check that everything works, let's just put a little console like here to see if we're getting our summary. So with everything set up, let's give it a try. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this URL and inside our summary AI app, go ahead and paste the URL and click create summary. Now this is gonna take a little bit of time because we're passing our transcript to OpenAI to generate our content. Now it says here summary created. We will handle the redirect in just a moment, but first let's take a look and see. As you could see here, we are getting our summary data from OpenAI, which is fantastic. So we know that everything works. So before moving on to the next step, let's do a quick review one more time of our code here. First, we set up a template that we can use to tell OpenAI our prompt. Next, in our generate summary function, we are using our prompt template and saving it to our variable. We're initializing an instance of our chat OpenAI. Then we're creating a chain. And what's awesome, you could add and chain a bunch of prompts if you wanted to do, a, do additional things to the response, which you could read more about on LangChain website. And then we are invoking our chain and waiting for our summary. Once we get our summary, we go ahead and return it. And inside our post, we are first checking to make sure that we have an authenticated user and a token. We then fetch our transcript from YouTube. Once we have our transcript, we go ahead and use a generate summary method that we just set up to create our summary and return it in our response. Now that we know we are able to generate our summary in the next section, we're going to create a new collection type to store that data in Strapi and make sure once the summary is generated, we are able to be redirected to our summary page that we're yet to create. So we'll do this in the next video and I'll see you there.